so, um, yeah, we're really having some technical, technical, technical difficulties here tonight. Uh, just a lot of really interesting and unique problems here. Sorry if you missed the action. Uh, for those, if you did, uh, which of course you did, Lindenwood did manage to score a single go on Park here, but Park is still really just playing, driving circles around them here. Really just styling on the folks from Lindenwood. Great little touch from uh, Tuna, but didn't really come to much. Floofy here with the destruction, going for the shot here, trying to get the angle, managing to get it. Perfect setup for Jackal, and Jackal manages to score a great shot. That is 5 1 for Park University. So you can see again Floofy demolishing his opponent and just beautiful touch off the wall and right into Jackal. Good stuff on the side of uh, Park here. Two minutes and 14 seconds left. Let's see if Wyndhamwood can come back. They have to score four goals at least just to make it to overtime. So I'm not really sure if that is possible. So what are they going to do for the next uh, round here? And again, they go for another early aggressive shot trying to do something, but Park is well set up in their defense and they're ready there. Luffy and Jackal uh, working together to defend the ball. Tuna destroying the tearjerker. They have an open goal pretty much. No, unfortunately, good good touch by uh, nobody to control it. Trying to go for the shot here, tearjerker, but Jackal, great defense, knocking up field, perfect. Lineup for Floofy off the backboard. Tuna going for the shot and unfortunately blocked by Evog Elite. Great defense from him here, but uh, might be too little too late. Tuna passing the ball upfield. Nobody really is there to receive it though, unfortunately. So tearjerker manages to control the ball, but he does get destroyed for his troubles. So they're looking in the air. Absolutely nothing came of it, unfortunately, here for the side of Park. Tune in the goal. He has the ball passing up field to Floofy. Unfortunately, Tearjerker's managed to get control of it. He tries to take a little shot, but Tuna is there to defend. Tuna does get destroyed by Tearjerker. A little bit of revenge there for him, but uh, nobody's really, really uh, defending. No, Tearjerker does manage to get back in time, stopping Floofy's attempt in his tracks. Nobody trying to get to the ball, trying to do something. It's an open goal here for him. Will he be able to make it count? He has enough boost, but he doesn't have enough control on the ball. Jackal here. Great ball control, knocking away Evog Elite, so he couldn't really do too much. He has the control of the ball once more. He's trying to go in the air, has the boost, trying to take a shot. Unfortunately, just barely misses, and Tear Tearjerker managed to uh, control the ball and get it out of there. Floofy in the air, trying to get to the ball. Tearjerker all over the place, honestly, um, carrying the squad here from Lindenwood University. Evog Elite trying to go for a shot, trying to set up for nobody here, but Jackal, great defense, and Floofy right here defending as well. All three of them in the goal making sure that they don't even have a chance to try and score. Evog Elite bounces the ball, nice little touch over Tuna, trying to score, but both members, both of the other members here for Park are here to defend, so couldn't really do too much. Shearjerker trying to go for a shot, but Floofy managed to deflect it away. Jackal has control of the ball, nice little flick, trying to go for something. Four seconds left, three seconds left, they can't, probably can't do too much here, but it's a... Uh, Nice first clean game here for the side of a uh, part. Really clean, really smooth, just exactly what you want to see. You're gonna have to definitely have to gonna watch out for a uh, tearjerker here. He's really um, playing well. Definitely looking to carry his team and uh, score all the goals that his team. Uh, can't get to really carry a scene. Moving into game two here, we're gonna have to see what each squad does differently, what each squad does the same, or if they don't change anything. If it's just gonna be another clean sweep by here by Park. Park manages to get to the ball first. Jackal going for it this time. Tuna already in the air, already has enough boost. Tapping the ball forward, Floofy trying to get to it, but it's a contested ball. Nobody manages to stifle it. And it might be a shot here from Elite. No, too high, too much. And it gets bounced away by Tuna. Tearjerker trying to go for a shot, just barely off the angle. So Floofy does manage to get it. Tuna receives the ball, has a nice little touch, nice little flick, going for the shot. Absolutely nobody was there to uh, follow that up, back it up there for him. So he couldn't get it. Evolve trying to dribble the ball, a little bit too much gas in the tank for his car, so he couldn't really control the ball as well. Nobody clearing the ball out. Tuna managing to get back to the ball so it's still on the side of Lindenwood but until a tearjerker right here manages to get to it. Jackal dribbling the ball upfield trying to do something trying to advance their play. Tuna with a great little tap over him. Jackal dis disrupting the defense. Another great tap by Tuna. And very good combination right there by right there by Jackal and Tuna. Disrupted nobody and Tuna managing to barely tap that in. Jackal there just Give it a little assist, a little nudge, a little push. 
And it is 1-0 for the side of Park University Wine. Luffy does manage to get through the ball first. Does manage to push it to the side. They're starting their offense already very quickly. Tuna going for a shot directly over Tearjerker. And Tuna's right there as well as Jackal. And Floofy as well trying to get the ball in. But it just wouldn't go in thanks to the tenacious defense by Elite and Nobody. Nobody trying to dribble the ball upfield. Couldn't get anything done. It does go back to Elite. He tries to take a shot. But Floofy is in the air with enough boost to uh, compensate. Jackal following up. Nice little defense right there by him. Elite trying to take a shot, trying to set up for someone I can't tell. Tearjerker does miss his own shot, so it's going to be a failed attempt. And Elite does get destroyed for his troubles. Floofy has control of the ball, trying to go for the dribble. Taps it over Elite. It's in the air. He doesn't have enough boost really to go for it, though. So he is unfortunately stuck on the wall. Nobody does manage to club the attempt from Tuna. So it is on the side of Park in control of Lindenwood. They're really trying to take shots, really trying to control the ball, but Park is really tenacious about this defense, really good about not letting um, Lindenwood get too many chances or opportunity, really making them work for every touch of the ball that they make. Poofy, good, good pass, trying to get some advancement upfield. Tuna with another great shot. They don't really have too much to say about it here for the side of Lindenwood, and it's looking like it's going to be another easy goal here for the side of Park, but he unfortunately misses a shot. Floofy does as Wills just didn't touch the ball like he wanted it to, and unfortunately, Will just dropped down in front of the goal and will be cleared for Lindenwood. They missed another clearance, though, so it's another chance here for Floofy to redeem himself, trying to get to the ball, but no, it does get cleared by nobody. Jackal trying to force it again, trying to force the matter. Tuna has control of the ball. It's going in. Tearjerker is just all over the place, like I said earlier, trying to carry this Lindenwood squad. Nobody pushing it up field. Jackal has control of the ball, has control of the boost. He's dribbling it upfield in the air, bouncing it over him, trying to take a shot here. Unfortunately, just couldn't get to it. Tearjerker was there, read the play perfectly, and was able to deflect it away. Again, disrupting Park's play. They're going to need to take uh, Tearjerker out of the equation if they want a chance to score. Unfortunately, no, Floofy scores a self-goal here, and that is not what you want to see if you're a Park player or a Park fan at all. Nobody mistouches the ball, but unfortunately, Floofy going a little bit too fast, doesn't have enough control of his car, and it does go in. So it is 1-1. We're going to have to see if that's going to cost them the game, and, and might even cost them the match if they don't play perfectly from here on out, the side of Park. It might even shatter the morale, but hopefully it does not. Just one mistake shouldn't define the game. Going to have to see. Evog Elite trying to control the ball. Tuna Fish is already in the air. He's going for another shot off the backboard. Unfortunately, gets disrupted by the Tearjerker. It's up the side of the field. Jackal has control of the ball, passing nobody into the air. Evog Elite managed to disrupt it. Floofy, unfortunately, not in the air high enough. Just didn't read the play correctly. Manages to take another shot, though, off of Jackal's pass, but unfortunately goes right to nobody. And nobody passes into the air. Wait, he no, he passes directly to Jackal off the backboard. Jackal tries to take another shot, but Tuna Fish is there. Try to take the shot, but it does get deflected by Elite. So a mistake here from nobody is uh, fixed by his team. And you're going to have to wonder uh, if that's going to keep happening and what is going to be their uh, corrections they will make. That's going to be a straight ball down. Absolutely nothing comes of it. And Floofy takes a shot here. Unfortunately, barely misses. Jackal tried to go for it and just didn't have enough. Wasn't ready enough for the play. Floofy has the ball again in the air. Dribbling perfectly. Beautiful dribbling. But unfortunately, Jackal just a little bit too early on that play couldn't get to it Floofy again has the ball but nobody trying to defend he's right there and Jackal tipping it over Floof uh nobody Evog Lee is there they're just going for shot after shot Tuna Fish trying to make his own shot as well unfortunately they just can't get it past this uh really great squad here from Linwood Jackal trying to take his own shot again Floofy trying to take a shot too much on the ball so it just went wild he does manage to destroy tear jerk this might be a chance it might be an opportunity Will they be able to go for it? Jackal twisting his ball in the air, trying to do something. Unfortunately, couldn't get to it. Tuna Fish has control of the ball. He's dribbling. Flicks it over, and it might be a goal here. What a beautiful flick by Tuna Fish. Absolutely stupendous here. Gonna have to watch that one again. It's a nice little touch over both Tearjerker and Evog Elite. Nobody was in a position to do much of anything, and that is 2-1 for the side of Park with 20 seconds remaining in this game number two. And we might have a clean 3-0 sweep here for the side of Park University Wine. Tuna Fish trying to go for the ball here. Tearjerker trying to do something. Trying to start the offense here for Lindenwood University. They don't want it to end like this. What can they do? Floofy's taking another shot. Nobody was there to disrupt him. But really can't do much. One second left. And it's, you have to imagine it's going to be 
game two over to Park University wine. Good stuff. Even after a pretty disastrous mistake from Floofy, they managed to come back with a beautiful play off of a tuna fish and jackal. So good hats off to both of those two, and we are going to be moving into game number three of five of a possible five if Lindenwood can make this a series. We're going to be moving into game number three now. Five minutes on the clock, and both sides are going for the ball. Tuna Fish already with a great touch off the, right off the bat. It's very well in Park's favor here with the offense already going. Tuna, Tearjerker trying to correct that little mistake. Nobody got to the ball for his team, so he just kind of went directly uh, over in Park's favor right away. Floofy, another great pass, and Jackal there to clean up. Beautiful stuff by Jackal. We're going to have to watch that one again. Evoc Elite trying to clear the ball off the wall. Floofy already in there. Perfect, and Jackal. Nice little touch into the left upper 90. That's a lot of coordination. You can tell that Park players have been playing for quite a while now. And again, Park manages to advance the ball pretty well upfield, and they already have control of this match here, and it's only 4 minutes, 38 seconds in. Kluvi trying to get the ball in front of the goal for Tuna Fish, and Tuna Fish unfortunately just wasn't there in time, and uh, Linden Woods University, uh, their defense was sufficient enough to stop that in his tracks. Nobody going for the ball here. It's a free ball. Floofy in the air already trying to take a shot, but... Evog Elite is there to block it away. Tuna trying to control the ball, tapping it over nobody, but nobody is there for his team to try to take a shot. Floofy does have control of the ball off the backboard, too much and not enough on the right angle, so he unfortunately misses that shot there. Jackal has the ball, trying to pass it to someone. Couldn't hit Floofy there, unfortunately, so it does become a dead ball. Tuna Fish does regain control of it for the side of Park, and they're trying to make their shots here now going over the side of Lindenwood. They do have it on Park side, but unfortunately, Floofy right here. Oh, unfortunate, just a little bit too much. I just couldn't get it in, but Tuna Fish, as usual here to really clean up for the side of Park. So unfortunately, we watched Floofy miss the shot, but just a little bit too much on the clearance for the side of Lindenwood, and Tuna Fish is right there, right in the center, saying, here I am, and I'm ready to take a shot, and he makes the shot with supreme accuracy. Exactly what you want to see. Both teams go for the ball, and it's going to stop pretty much in the center. Floofy trying to take a shot here. It might have worked if Tearjerker had not been there and ready to defend. Tearjerker trying to go for the ball himself. He has 59% boost, so he has a little bit in the tank to go for it. Nobody in Tearjerker working very well together, They're going for the upper 90, but unfortunately, it just did not work out for them. Floofy was there, and he does make the pass here for Tuna, but nobody is right there. Great stuff by him to really defend that, really get back there in time. Maybe Tuna can get to the ball right there. Unfortunately, he does miss, and it does not result in a score. Jackal trying to go for the ball. Tearjerker, great. What a great shot here, but Tuna is right there. Great defense by him on an equally great shot. Jackal bumping the ball up into the air. Who's going to get there first? Tuna Fish does get man manage to get there, but he doesn't have any boost, boost to really uh, do something with it. So Jackal does step up, does bump it over. Evog Elite pretty much solo carrying this run right here. Will he be able to make a shot? Unfortunately, he does not. He's going to bounce it off the wall. He's going to look, get some boost, and Floofy is going to go for the shot himself, trying to get it off the backboarding unfortunately just couldn't get it in tuna fist barely missing it up there right off the crossbar Luffy trying to get control of the ball jackal going for the shot and it does look like it will be good beautiful little touch by him off of uh some more mistakes by the side of linden with Luffy off the wall and they couldn't get to the ball in time so jackal just took a free easy shot right there and went right directly in so it is now three nil with two minutes and 30 seconds here in the third green for Park University. 
Nobody does manage to advance the ball upfield pretty well. Off the crossbar, and Tearjerker is trying to force it in. Floofy is trying to stop him, but the rest of the plays for Lindenwood just force it in there. Really right here, great stuff from Tearjerker to flick it up, trying to get it in. Floofy was doing his best. Jackal came in a little bit too early, so the rest of the players from Lindenwood University could just force it in, just brute force it in with the sheer weight of numbers. Floofy does get to the ball first, and it's in the air. It's coming straight down near the center of the goal. Fortunately, nobody does misses uh, does miss his uh, clearance, so it is still on his side. Floofy in the air, smacking the ball hard. Nobody shooting it straight up field. It looks like it will be collected by Jackal. He's already in the air. Great little flick, but it does get away, knocked away by Tearjerker. Tuna Fish trying to control the ball. Nobody is there to disrupt that. Evog Elite trying to go for the shot off the crossbar. Floofy, nice little tap over the side of him, and Jackal has a pretty much a clear goal. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the angle on the shot so he couldn't get to it in time tuna fish is here though knocking off the crossbar going for the shot floofy barely misses knocking it down for jackal but jackal was there a little bit too early and doesn't have the boost to follow up so he really couldn't make that shot there Floofy passing into nobody and nobody collecting the ball tuna fish trying to get back jackal gets back there in time stopping the shot from tuna fish has the ball here at the side of linden Un lindenwood university floofy trying to go for a shot couldn't do too much there Oh, Floofy, great little tap over, but Tearjerker is there to defend and collect the ball. Evog Lee dribbling up here super fast. Nobody does manage to destroy Floofy, but he will be up in time by the time the uh, shot does go through. And in fact, he has time to collect the ball. He's trying to go for a shot. Beautiful little control there, but nobody was there to defend. I'm trying to do some work on the side of Park. Tuna Fish is unfortunate. Oh my goodness, Jackal was there. It almost resulted in an own goal. Good job by Jackal to read the play from the side of his own teammate and tearjerker. Floofy has control of the ball. He's trying to go for another shot. 46 seconds remaining on the clock. Nobody is hitting the ball. Tearjerker does manage to collect it. Tuna Fish barely over his head. Nobody and Floofy jock jockeying for the ball. Jackal does manage to collect it. Does manage to try and clear it. Floofy tries to take a shot, but Jackal is there again to defend. Tuna Fish finally has control of the ball. Finally has the boost to do something. Trying to go upfield. His uh, attempt does get disrupted by the side of Lindenwood. Tearjerker trying to do something with the ball, trying to get to the ball. Tuna Fish waiting in center field, waiting open, trying to get to a clear shot. It does get up in the air, but he is there to defend. Trying to take a shot, bouncing off the wall. Floofy trying to go for the angle. He backs up into it. What are they going to do? And it's looking like it will be a swift 3-0 for the side of Park University Wine. Evogalik trying to go for the shot. Jackal does manage to collect. Floofy right there. They're trying to keep it in there. Trying to go for one more point. But it unfortunately does not look like it will be for Lindenwood University. That will be a 4-1 for Park University. Great job by either team to keep this in there. But great job by Jackal to capitalize and finish it off. So that will be 3-0 to Park University Y. Great stuff by... Uh, both sides really saw some great play, especially from Tearjerker for the side of um, Lindenwood. And we will be back soon with Park University Canary in a bit.
Some more whiskey. I can't seem to understand how you do this to me. You've been running in circles inside my head. Wasn't looking for love, but baby, I found you.
and we are back with game number two of university wine um it is not lindenwood again uh it is another school whose name i do not remember at the moment i will get back to you what was it yes oh my god welcome it is a. Uh, our league support player, Rarko, also our in-game leader. Uh, I'm gonna get just and UMKC. Tech guy. Oh, that's not how you spell that. <laughs> University of Missouri, Kansas City. There we go. <laughs> so, University of uh, Missouri, Kansas City has already scored one point, one nil, to them. Thank you, Rarko. Um, <laughs> they have scored one point already, so that's not a good start here for the side of Park. But Park does manage to come back very quickly and they do score another point jackal here great pass up feel and tuna just easy collect nice little flick over and uh really great stuff for this either squad one one with 44 minutes left on the um game one of a possible five here it might look it looks like we might go to a, all five here anyway Tuna Fish trying to get to the ball. Skeller 88 at passing it upfield. Jackal there to collect, trying to control the ball. Noah trying to deal something with it, but unfortunately could not get to it in time. Floofy has control of the ball. Bouncing it up into the air for Tuna Fish. Unfortunately, couldn't get to the ball in time before Skeller 8. Jackal trying to take a shot here. Floofy trying to follow up as well. Unfortunately, does get bumped out of the way, and it will go back over the side of Kansas City. Jackal has control of the ball, trying to do something. Unfortunately, couldn't get to it in time. Beck trying to go for a shot. Noah bumping it over Jackal. Tuna Fish has control of the ball in the air. Skeller 8 again trying to do something. He's all over the place right now. Jackal has control of the ball, passing up field. Noah does collect the ball, trying to do something. Unfortunately, does miss. And Floofy trying to go for a shot off the crossbar. Unfortunately, Skeller 88 does get destroyed. They have a chance here. They might be able to do something. Unfortunately, they do not. So they can't really do too much here. Noah, or rather Jackal, I'm sorry, he's in the air, he's trying to do something, he's trying to go for a shot here. Skiller 88 is in the air, trying to deflect him, he does manage to deflect him, so now they have a chance. Beck here trying to get to the ball, unfortunately does miss. Noah does manage to touch the ball up the field, but unfortunately gets knocked back almost immediately by Jackal, and um, they have a lot to say here in Park, they're trying to score one, so it doesn't go into overtime, so they aren't here too much longer. Floofy in the air trying to get to the ball. Beck is there before him. T Tuna Fish, unfortunately, going the wrong direction. And Jackal touching the ball as well. Not what you want to see here from the coronation. Beck managing to touch the ball. And Jackal trying to hit there. Tuna Fish, unfortunately, just put his car in the wrong direction and reversed it instead of going forward. And unfortunately, hit the ball. Or uh, rather, missed the ball entirely. So it is 2 1 for the side of uh, Kansas City. Jackal trying to go for another shot here. Uh, unfortunately, he does get deflected by Noah, and Noah has control of the ball. He's trying to go for something, trying to center the ball for his team. Floofy is there to deflect it away, trying to move it back up the sidelines, trying to move it back up to the middle of the field for his team. Jackal has control of the ball, trying to do something. Great little bounce there. Floofy has been destroyed by Skeller 8. Can't really do too much about that. Tuna Fish has control of the ball. It's in the air. It's in the center of the field. Who would get to it first? Beck does manage to control it, does manage to touch it down, but unfortunately can't do too much with it. Floofy, it's back on the side for Park here. Floofy did manage to touch it, but Noah's son, really great shot there. Tuna read the play very well, however, and blocked that upper 90 shot. Tuna again all over the place, trying to take another shot here. Goes directly into the crossbar. Jackal trying to push it in. Goes right into the air. He's trying to knock it down here for Tuna. Off the crossbar again, trying to go for it. Underneath Noah, but Skeller 8 is there to collect in the end, and it will be two minutes with 2-1 to one on the clock still. Floofy gets destroyed by Skeller 88. Or rather, sorry, Floofy gets destroyed, and Tuna has the ball in the air, trying to control it, trying to take another shot, and it's a beautiful shot. Jackal with a great assist. So it is now evened up with a minute 52 left to go. Another great shot, another great setup by Jackal, and Tuna just taps it in lightly over Beck and right and Skeller 88 was just a little bit too slow on the play there, so he could not get to it in time. So 
So we decide to for the position of ball. Tuna has the ball in the air, trying to dribble, trying to do something. Beck manages to deflect it away. Fluffy, however, manages to control it again. He's in the air, trying to knock it off the crossbar, trying to center it for his team. Skeller, 88, however, deflects it away. So Tuna has to collect the ball once more, trying to push it up the field, trying to push their agenda, trying to make something go in. And Jackal is there to collect. Very beautiful from Jackal to read the play, read what they wanted to do, and capitalize that off, off of it supremely. It's a nice little touch over there from Noah. He couldn't get to it in time. He had no, no hope of it. Very great stuff. So it is going to be 3-2 with a minute 30 left on the clock. Jackal has another shot. Beck there, however, is uh, able to defend. Tuna managing control of the ball. Trying to go for another shot. Nobody is there to defend for the side of Kansas City, but nobody is able to take a shot for the side of Park. So uh, really... It's a stalemate there. Beck is in the air, has control of the ball, knocking up field, going for a straight little goal, but Fluffy is there to defend. Very good stuff from Fluffy. Tuna has control of the ball. He's trying to move it off the field, trying to do something with it. Fluffy tapping the ball up field, bouncing off the side of the wall. Can't really do too much. Noah has control of the ball, knocking up the field himself, advancing it up the sidelines. Trying to get it in here, trying to set up for his team. Couldn't do too much. Nobody was there. Fluffy has control of the ball, bouncing it over Skeller 8, but Skeller 8 jumps up and says, Not today, sir. Knocking it away. Noah trying to do something with the ball, but he can't get to it. Too much uh, defense from the side of Park. And Tunafish trying to boost it up and in. Fluffy trying to go for a shot himself, but couldn't get to it in time. And it goes wide. So 30 seconds remaining. There, Park is playing defense. Just uh, about to defend an onlot, onslaught of attacks here from the side of Kansas City. Noah has control of the ball. He's in midfield. He has control. He's dribbling in the air, trying to go for the shot. Beautiful little... Tip under Jackal and over Fluffy, but Tuna is there to defend in the end. Beck trying to set up for something, but unfortunately didn't have much control of the ball there. Couldn't center the ball. It's centered now, however, but Jackal is there to collect. He unfortunately misses, so it will be just time whittling down here for Park. Skiller 88 may have had a chance to score there, but unfortunately couldn't get to it in time. So it will be one game over. Park University wine. We are in game two of a possible five here between Park University Wine and UMKC, uh, University of Missouri in Kansas City, I do believe. That is the full name for the acronym. So we already had a pretty, um, I would say quick or clean game for Park, but it was a pretty successful one. So we're going to hopefully see uh, another a return to more dominant form like they had in the first uh, series up to nice string already off the crossbar for this or crossbar for the side of park couldn't really do too much because Noah's tenacious defense but um tuna try and take another shot already off the crossbar floofy in the air unfortunately misses and couldn't do too much i do believe they subbed in another player yes beck has been subbed out by low for the side of K kansas city jackal already in the air pouncing off the wall trying to take a shot skeller 88 is there to thin really can't do too much about it Floofy has control of the ball himself, trying to push it upfield, trying to advance it up the sidelines in the air. Great little juke uh, over Noah. Jack will try and take a shot just too much to the side and couldn't hit it. He does control the he does have control of the ball here, however. Does manage to boost it over Skeller 88, and it is on the side of KC. They're trying to take control. Floofy does miss his little tap, but Tuna does get it in the air off the crossbar again, trying to make some magic happen. Unfortunately, Lowe is there to defend. And Skeller 88 is there to clean up. Clearance by Low going up field. Tuna has control of the ball, trying to bounce it in, trying to bounce it off the right angle. Unfortunately, misses. And Low does manage to clear it again. Fluby has control of the ball. He's dribbling in the air, bouncing off the tip of his car. They're really trying to get this off the backboard or off the backboard and trying to dunk it in, but unfortunately, just can't do it. The defense from KC is really just too, um, too smothering right now. Skeller 88, great little tap up field. And now Parker, the one on defense. And Tuna, barely there to defend the ball from Noah. And Jackal, unfortunately, missed his, um, missed his uh, clearance there. 
but it does doesn't really matter because his team does have control of the ball once more. They are managing to make attacks and just going for runs at it. Jackal has control of the ball, trying to go for a shot. Low is there to disrupt, so it does not work. Jackal does destroy Noah. Floofy is in the air. What will he do with the ball? He's trying to take a shot. Skiller88 is there to defend, though, however. Good stuff by Skiller88. Low clearing the ball up the field, trying to move it up the sideline, trying to move it for his team. Jackal clearing the ball up the center. Good stuff. Skeller88 trying to take control of the ball, trying to reestablish uh, KC as the lead in this game. Two minute and 40 seconds thereabouts remaining in the second game here. Noah moving quickly, trying to do something with the ball. Jackal has control, but again, he's bouncing it upfield, trying to juke out Skeller88, but he is it's too much right here. Fluffy going for a shot, but Low was there to deflect it. Tunafish trying to go for something here. Unfortunately, he didn't have the angle. Jackal trying to do it again. They just can't get to the angle. Low did miss his clearance, however. They might have an opportunity off of that mistake. Unfortunately, they do not. It is clear up the center. Noah trying to go for a shot, but Tuna is there. The fan great defense by Tunafish. Chris. But they will get another chance to attack. Skeller88 trying to go for another shot there, but Tunafish. Uh, really great defense. He has control of the ball once more. He's trying to go for something, but uh, just a little bit too fast for that shot there. Jackal in the air off the side. Trying to go for something. Floofy almost go for him. Almost scoring that uh, off the crossbar. So couldn't really. Couldn't score it in. Couldn't push it in. And um, it is back on the side for KC. Park has trying to control the ball. They do manage to get push it onto the side of KC. Uh, but they don't really have to control the ball. So they really can't do too much about it. I, as I say that, Floofy does manage to control the ball in the air. Jack will try to do something as well with him. Trying to set up a combo here. But they really can't get to it. It's really just individual play from all these players. They're really trying to set up something for their each other, but they really just can't get to it. Noah and Jackal jockling for the ball. It does come out for the side of Noah, but Tuna does manage to receive it. And Low is there to receive Tuna's uh, clearance. Fufi advancing the ball upfield, trying to clear it toward the center. Unfortunately, his team was not there. And Skeller88 was. Jackal in the air with the ball, dancing around with it, trying to do something. Can't land on the ball correctly, so it unfortunately does not go his way. Noah knocking the ball away from a minute remaining in the first, or rather the second game. And it does manage to get scored by Low and Skeller88. We're going to have to see that happen. A great tap by Skeller88 and Low, seeing bounce off the wall perfectly. Just tapped it in lightly, and Jackal was just too far in the goal to really defend. So it is 1-0 with a minute remaining on the clock for Park University Wine to try and tie it up and go into overtime but and try and score in overtime. Will they be able to do it? We're going to have to see folks as Skeller88 and Noah trying to advance it up the pitch. Unfortunately, just a little bit too much and Lowe was a little bit too high on that ball trying to go for it. So it will look like it's about to be an, a point here for Park and that is a beautiful touch by Jacqueline Tuna. Really great stuff. Jackal passing the ball upfield. And Jackal, just the lightest touch of his tires. Right over Skeller88. He was not expecting that slight change in velocity. And it was enough to tie up this game. But 30 seconds were left on the clock. Skeller88 managed to push the ball. Uh, split the defenders upright. He's trying to do something. Jackal pushing the ball up the pitch. Fluby is there trying to get to it first, but Low, Low, however, gets to it before he does. Tuna Fish too high in the air trying to do something. Noah trying to take a shot, but Jackal is there on the defense. He's really good at that uh, defensive play, and they can't get too much when he's in the goal. Jackal dribbling the ball up the wall, trying to do something with it. It does get deflected by Skeller88. He does lose control of it, and it's bouncing just around erratically. No one has control of the ball. Skeller's trying to take a shot. Fluby is there to defend, and it will go into overtime immediately. 1-1, one, one, just the next point wins, and it will be game two going over to either side. Sloofy driving the ball up the side of the wall, trying to knock it down for Jackal. He was a little bit too early on that, so he couldn't get control of it. Noah in the air. Tuna Fish Chris, however, is there to defend. Low trying to disrupt Tuna Fish. He unfortunately uh, disrupts his teammate as well, and his Skeller 88 does miss the ball. And that will be a point here for Sloofy, and that will be game two. Going over the side of Park University wide. Great stuff by them. Here's Floofy. He's just taking advantage of their um, miscommunication and misplay. And just taps it in. Nice light touch. Great point. Like I said, 2 0. And we might have a quick 3 0 here for the side of Park University. We're going to have to see if they decide to sub. Uh, another one of their players out for Beck or if they're going to keep this lineup and see if they can try to make something happen. It was more successful uh, 
than last time. I do believe. But we're gonna have to see what uh, UMC KC does. Another five minutes here on the clock in game three of a possible five. And it is another quick almost goal here. But Tuna Fish Chris does make up for uh, the fact that uh, Fluffy did miss a shot here. It's a great, great touch by Jackal to clear it up. Fluffy unfortunately barely misses the ball, but a clearance was missed by both players of uh, KC and Jackal just cleaned up perfectly. So Beck does come in for uh, Skeller 88, I believe. No, Noah. He does come in for Noah. So it will be... Oh my goodness, it, it looks to be another point here for the side of Park. Just another quick point. Jackal touching the ball, setting it up for Chris again. Chris, nice little flick over two players on the side of you and KC. And that will be a quick 2-0 with 4 minutes and 51 seconds left on the clock. It might We might have a stomp here on our hands, folks. If you and KC keeps playing like that. Nobody in the goal here except Tuna Fish. Chris, he does manage to receive the ball perfectly, trying to clear it up the field. Floofy tapping it right into Jackal, and Jackal, unfortunately, stopping the momentum of uh, Floofy. Tunafish Chris trying to take a shot here. Unfortunately, does get managed. To, uh, Low does manage to deflect it away. Low trying to take another shot. Skeller tried eight. Skeller 88 uh, receiving the clearance by uh, Jackal. Can't really do too much about it. Low trying to take another shot, but you have to imagine that Tunafish Chris will be there, and he is. Nice deflection by him. Floofy, great disruption. Jackal trying to take the ball upfield, trying to do something. He doesn't really have too much boost to work with. Beck is able to uh, disrupt his play, disrupt it, trying to move it back up the pitch for his team. Tuna trying to stop Lowe's attempt here, but Lowe on the wall, still moving it relentlessly forward, setting his team up perfectly. Unfortunately, Jackal just wasn't in the air in time, and he wasn't at the right angle. So Beck and Lowe's collective effort, efforts will be will not be in vain. Great little tap here from Beck just right in and Fluffy was just not on the uh, line at the right angle at the right time. 2-1 here for uh, Park University. Still, Beck trying to go for a shot but Fluffy is there to defend. Trying to do something. Low misses his clearance here. Fluffy might have a chance but Skiller 88 does not miss his. So Jackal is there to collect the ball, collect it, trying to do something, trying to center and clear it. Tuna Fish Chris trying to go for the shot, but Lowe does disrupt. Great stuff from Lowe to uh, really stop that play from moving forward. Jackal in the air, dribbling the ball, moving forward. Lowe there to deflect it, defend it away, clearing it toward the center. Beck trying to go for the shot. Tuna Fish Chris is in there, and he does deflect it upfield. Now, who's going to collect the ball now? Skeller 88, he in the air. He has the boost. He has a little bit of tr um, effort. Beck. Tries to take a shot. Jackal is there to defend this time, however. Passing it over to Floofy. It's still on their side, though. So they're still having to play defense. Still having to play catch up. And now they're down a person for a little bit, at least. Jackal is back up now. And Floofy trying to destroy Low there. You have to imagine. But Low saw it coming. Managed to jump out of the way in time. And Tunafish Chris, great deflection off of Beck's shot. Passing it to Jackal. They're really just playing in the air. Unfortunately, I do believe Low might, or Floofy might have messed the... The three of them up there by disrupting that little play. And Beck has control of the ball again. Jackal, great stuff by deflecting upfield. Skiller 88 trying to take a shot, I do believe, but he just didn't have the angle. Bounces off the back wall. Low trying to take a shot. Floofy, great stuff. Great defense from him. Drives down the back of the ball and trying to deflect it away. Skiller 88 really just disrupting that. Beck and Floofy get into it. Couldn't get the ball up either side, but Tuna does manage to disrupt it. Tuna does manage to also destroy Skiller 88. They might have a chance here. Low taking a shot. Jackal's in the air. Great deflection by Jackal. To uh, stop low shot, Tuna Fish Chris does this deflect Skeller 88 shot, and then moving the back ball, the ball back up the pitch. Jackal deflecting another shot, really great defense from the side of a. Uh, in here, and it is going to be two minutes remaining on the clock with 2-1, a very close game here, folks. Jackal knocking the ball directly up in the air, low looking for an angle, looking for a shot. He doesn't go for it. He doesn't get it in time. Floofy passing it upfield to absolutely nobody. But he de but Beck is destroyed by Floofy. So Tuna Fish has a chance. He's bouncing off the ball. Couldn't get to the ball. And it does get deflected and cleared by Low. Jackal trying to get to the ball on time so it does not go in. Floofy is there to cover his back saying, don't worry. I got you. He's in the air trying to dribble it around off of, a off of the wall above Low. And unfortunately, he couldn't get to the ball. So Jackal cleans up. 
Look at this great dribbling by Fluffy. He manages to knock it above low so he couldn't get to the ball. And Beck misses his uh, block. So Jacko just had a clear open goal. And that will be 3-1 for the side of Park University Wine. Fluffy has the ball up the field. He's bouncing off the wall again, trying to get something ready, trying to get something started again. Skiller 88, unfortunately, uh, is there to defend. Jackal bouncing it off the backboard, trying to get something going. Uh, Low is there able to knock it away, though. Tunafish Chris trying to control the ball, trying to do something with it. Unfortunately, could not. So, it will be a deflection away. Each team trying to control the ball. It's just bouncing up into the air for each side. It's a minute left remaining on the clock. And they have to score two goals in this one minute left for the side of KC to even have a chance to go into overtime. Beck has control of the ball here. Skeller 88 did destroy Tuna, but unfortunately, uh, Beck did lose control of the ball in that little scrum there. Didn't want to get destroyed, you have to imagine. Toonfish does try to take a shot here. I do believe that Beck has it defended. Great stuff from Beck to get in the air. Jack will try to take a shot, but Lowe is on the ball. Great defense by Lowe here. And Floofy again trying to set up for his team, setting it directly down, but Skeller 88 is there to deflect away. Stop that chance from happening. 19 seconds left. Tuna Fish Chris in the air, passing it to Jackal. Jackal trying to get, do some fancy acrobatics, trying to get to it. Bounces over low. Uh, Beck does manage to receive the ball, trying to go for another shot. Jackal clearing the ball. They just want to get this ball out of the air area. Fluvi destroys Skeller 88, pushing the ball up the field. Tuna trying to take another shot here. He's in the air. Jackal passing it down to Flu uh, Tuna, but unfortunately, it touched the ground before Fluffy can clean up on their little trio play. So it will be a 3-0 to... Uh, Park University Wine and KC will drop. So I do believe uh, that is the end for our matches tonight. It is. I just got confirmation. So we will be back um, Saturday with more gameplay of a uh, possibly another sport i do believe maybe league of legends is on saturday league of legends they are going into the second round of the CeeLo uh timo cup so be sure to tune in for that oh, very interesting and uh, they have been playing a uh, uh, pretty well this has been your host shoutcaster uh, trent signing off I'm a stranger on my phone, my vision blurry, so I forget. Trying to hold you, but you left me if you did. How could I do what I've done if I'm in love? Ooh, you know I did what I did, you know that the gun. And I don't want to think about you anyway. I do it anyway.